Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today it's June 18th, 2021. It's 5.23 p.m. I just heard my, <clears throat> let's see, is this a Pixel 4a? can't remember, my cell phone. Uh, It uh, told me it said Android 11 reboot necessary, so I, you know, not so I restarted it, and this is what you know has popped up. Your Pixel just got more helpful. Uh, astrophotography, astrophotography in night sight. See how stars move across the night sky. Save to locked. Learn more. So. So. Uh, <clears throat> now what you're seeing on the screen is, you know, on my computer. Not the same as my cell phone here. So. Um, I guess I'll let me push on this astro photography. See what happens. Create a time lapse video of the night sky. Oh, great! <clears throat> Use your camera to take a stunning photo and time lapse video of the stars in the night sky. Uh, find a dark location away from bright star, bright lights. Place your phone on a tripod, open the camera app, tap night sight, tap the shutter button, tap the thumbnail to review your photo and video. Okay, open camera. Okay, um, let me... <coughs> uh, Let's see. Let me show you what maybe I should go over here. No. Nope. This is the better one. That's not showing very well, is it? So it looks you know, as uh, so there's night sight and then of course there's a uh, which uh, portrait, camera, video, modes, panoramic, photo. So I think it's basically the uh, same thing. In fact, I think night sight was a night sight there before. On my uh, so okay, nothing there. Okay, uh, I guess we need to go to main screen here on my PC. Uh, okay, conversations. Manage your conversations. Get all your messages in one place. See, respond to, and control your conversations across multiple messaging apps all in the same spot. Then select people you always chat with. These priority conversations show up on your locked screen so you never miss an important one. Well, I'm really not much of a user of the cell phone for much except, let's see, bubbles. <coughs> chat while multitasking. With Android 11 you can pin conversations so they always appear on top of other apps and screens. Bubbles keep the conversations going while you stay focused. I don't think I even want to be doing that. You know, I'm, I'm capture and share content. Okay, built-in screen recording. Screen recording lets you capture what's happening on your phone and it's built right into Android 11, 
so you don't need an extra app. Record with sound from your microphone, your device, or both. Okay, well that, you know, that might tie into something that I could do, maybe a YouTube. Uh, select and share just got easier. Select text from your apps. Grab images too on your Pixel devices. <clears throat> and you can easily copy, save, and share info between many apps like your browser and delivery app. Okay, let's see. Helpful tools that predict what you want. Smart reply. App suggestions, smart folders, smart reply. Get suggested responses in conversation. Okay, I've seen that with, you know, email, some email programs and stuff. I, I, I'm not, for a lot of people, this is going to be big stuff, I, you know. Control your phone with your voice. <clears throat> with Android 11, voice access is faster and easier to use. Intuitive labels on apps help you control. Okay. Like I said, I don't do a lot with myself. Device control. Uh, set the temperature to chill, then dim your lights. That's a just long press button to manage your okay. Media controls bring your entertainment with you. <clears throat> Switch from headphones to speakers without missing a beat. Tap to hear your tunes or watch a video on your TV. With Android 11, you can quickly uh, change the device that your media plays on. Connect Android to your car. I don't have a car, don't even have a license. You control what apps can access. Take charge of your data with Android. <clears throat> you choose whether the you give apps your download permission to access sensitive data or not. Okay. Security updates. Right from Google Play. With Android 11, you can get even more security and privacy fixes sent to your phone with Google Play. The same way all of your other apps update. So you get peace of mind and your device stays armed with the most recent defenses. Phones ready for Android. Okay. Okay, here's mine. Google Pixel 4a. Okay, that's what I have. So that's... Uh, you can get, right now, the Samsung Galaxy, I guess, uh, S20, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20, OnePlus 8 Pro. I guess that's it. Okay, accessibility. Voice access. Let's see. Talk back Braille keyboard. Huh. Type Braille using your Android device. No additional hardware needed. I'll put you know the links to this uh, thing. I'm not going to try to uh, tell you everything. I'm just things that pop out at me. 3P performance opted that your camera works even better on photo sharing platforms like Snapchat. I don't use Snapchat. Uh, mute during camera capture. Developers can use a new API for apps to mute vibrations from ringtones, alarms, or notifications. Uh, you can, what do they call that? Broken? Broken? Background can be. Uh, fuzzed out or something. Camera support in emulator now supports a fully functional camera how. Makes it easier for developers to test apps using the latest Android 2 apps. Uh, digital well-being. Bedtime mode. Bedtime mode quiets your phone when it's time to go to sleep. Schedule it to run automatically or while your phone charges as you rest. Your screen switches to gray scale and your notifications go silent with do not disturb clock. 
The new bedtime clock feature in the clock helps you set a healthy sleep schedule, track screen time at night, and fall asleep to calming sounds and wake up. And again, I mean, none of that helps me because of my, you know, being so old, you know. Digital well-being. Bedtime mode quiets your phone. I think I just read that, didn't I? Okay. Enterprise. Uh, media. Okay. Messages and sharing. Okay. Let's see. Screen recorder is now built in, so you don't need an extra app. Record with sound from your mic, your device, or both. Pixel devices now make apps suggestions based on your daily routine. These apps show up at the bottom row of your home screen. Smart folders. Call screening. The new API to help screening apps better identify spam callers. I hope that works. Uh, schedule dark mode. Picture in picture windows can be adjusted to fit your size. Uh, hinge angle sensor support. So apps can better support all kinds of foldable. Oh, yeah, I don't have a foldable phone. Ethernet tethering. Share a tethered internet connection with a USB Ethernet doggo. Okay, this... Okay, what is Android? I, don't know. I think that may be it. I'll put the link to this. And, uh, well, let me look at my phone here for a second. See if, uh, if I see anything different. Uh, let me swipe up from the bottom. Okay, there's up here at the top bar, there's a pixel. Let me, your pixel got more useful. Okay, this looks like the, uh, basically, I think this sort of this thing here. Save to locked folder. Keep your photos in, in your locked folder. Call screening. Learn the essentials. Get around your phone. Okay. So that's just, uh, okay, swiping up, same as always, I don't see anything new in, let me take a quick look, let's see. see my eye doctor Monday. I need to see my eye doctor. Haven't seen the eye doctor in years and with type 2 diabetes you need to uh, every year see your doctor, eye doctor. Okay, I have Android 11 on here. I'm, I'm not, I mean, I don't, uh, Don't see anything that I know of yet. It's, I guess it'll take a little bit of time. And I don't use my phone that much. Take it everywhere I go, but I never go anywhere. <laughs> but uh, I guess I'll probably find some neat stuff. I think I just installed this X record thing, X recorder, before the uh, 
Mm. I think this somehow got on here. I think this is part of the... Uh, I'll have to find out. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe. If you can, please use the links below. Uh, I think that's it. Thank you very much.